friends, I just want to say a few words in English for the benefit of those of you who have not been able to follow my speech in Hindi. Honorable members will not consider it ungracious on my part if I tell them that at the present moment I feel more overwhelmed by a sense of the burden of responsibility which they have placed on my shoulders than by a sense of elation or of gratefulness for the great honor which they have conferred on me. I realize that the greatest honor which an assembly like this could confer on any Indian you have been pleased to confer on me. And I am not using merely the language of convention when I say that I appreciate it greatly, that I am grateful to you for it. I know the difficulties which I shall have to face in the discharge of the heavy responsibilities which I have undertaken under your behest. I know the work of the Constituent Assembly is beset with various kinds of obstacles. But I know too that in the discharge of my duties I can count upon your unstinted support and the same kind of generosity which you have exhibited in electing me to this high honor. Our Constituent Assembly is meeting in difficult circumstances. We see signs of strife in many places in this unfortunate land. But other countries too, when they elected their Constituent Assemblies and asked it to frame constitution for them, were faced with similar difficulties. We can take comfort in the fact that in spite of those difficulties, in spite of the differences in viewpoints which exhibited themselves with vigor, sometimes with trouble and turmoil, these difficulties were conquered by those assemblies and the assemblies were able, in spite of them, to frame constitutions which were acceptable to the people at large, which have become, in course of time, an invaluable heritage for the people of those lands. There is no reason why we should not succeed also similarly. All that we need, all that we require, is honesty of purpose, firmness of determination, a desire to understand each other's viewpoint, a resolve that we shall do justice that we shall behave as fairly, as fairly as possible towards everyone else. 